Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and the solution transcript, you can feel free to check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this week's problem of the week is a very standard Calculus 3 question. It just asks you to find the critical points of the function. And um, I'm just going to go right ahead and start. You're going to want to take a lot of partial derivatives. I'm just going to start with um, partial derivative f with respect to x and partial derivative of x with respect to y. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, so took the partial derivative with respect to x, and it's very simply 6x minus 12x squared. Uh, you know, these y terms have no dependence on x, so we take the partial derivative, uh, those kind of vanish. Uh, same deal with um, partial derivative of y. Uh, very, very simple expressions, and we are going to set these equal to zero, and we're going to then solve for x and y. So I've set them equal to 0, and I have solved for x. They are actually very, very simple. So um, x and y, y is equal to negative 1 third, uh, and that makes this true. Um, if x is equal to 1 half or x is equal to 0, then this is true. Uh, so we do have our two critical points. Um, we have 1 half and negative 1 third. We have 0 and negative 1 third. Uh, so that's, we're not quite done yet, because we all, the problem also said you have to uh, identify what kind of points these critical points are. So saddle, minimum, maximum, uh, degenerate, etc. Um, so I will leave the two critical points on the board, and I will then proceed to identify them. And I'm going to use the method with the Hessian uh, determinant. So um, what is the Hessian determinant? Well. Um, I will write it out on the board for you. So, uh, so we're going to be finding this right here. Um, and as you can see, we need the second derivative with respect to x. Um, second derivative with respect to y. We need um, derivative of x, derivative of y. So I'm going to go ahead and use what we found so far uh, to find those. So. I will be using this notation uh, to show the second derivative with respect to um, the different uh, partial derivatives with respect to the variables. Um, so uh, very simply, um, 6 minus 24x. Uh, and the rest are very simple, uh, very simple too, um, because just uh, the polynomial we were given in the beginning is just a rather simple one. Uh, so then I'm going to go ahead and evaluate the determinant, um, like so. Um, so this is just very simple because two of the terms are 0. All we have is 36 minus 144x. Uh, we are going to plug in those values of the critical points for each one to evaluate each one or identify which one, um, what kind each one is. So we, I'm going to start with uh, this one, 1 half and negative 1 third. If you plug that in, um, you put in that x value of 1 half. And when you do that, you will get negative 36. And what that is, is that is what we do with that. We say it's less than 0, and that would make this a saddle point. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, and then for the next one, uh, 0 and 1 third, negative 1 third. Uh, you plug that in, that value of 0 in, you get 36. 36 is greater than 0. So now we have to analyze um, the second derivative, second partial derivative with respect to x. 
Um, 6 minus 24 times um, negative 1 third. We just plugged it in to what we found for um, second partial derivative with respect to x. So, and then we get that this is 14. And 14 is, of course, greater than 0. And from there, from these two, um, the Hesedean determinant and the second partial derivative with respect to x, um, we find that these two things mean we have a local minimum. Uh, and that is it for this week's Problem of the Week. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more Problems of the Week, you can feel free to click up here for our playlist. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click right here. If you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, feel free to click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the corner over there. That should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching.